Hi, it's Ray with Raise Your Game Golf Instruction. Back again for, I think it's part two of the uh, initial differences between the OptiShot 2 golf simulator and the Ball Flight by OptiShot Launch Monitor golf simulator. So in the first episode, we talked a little bit about the physical differences and some of the general swing differences and characteristics from between the two. So today I'm gonna to get a little more uh, specific and a little more uh, talk a little more about data points and the differences there. So to begin with, uh, I've mentioned a couple of times the grid for the ball flight, and uh, you can see it right here. It's basically just a an outline that slides right up into the ball flight, and then right there would be your ball position. So if you take that away, that's kind of where the ball needs to be in that general vicinity uh, to strike the ball. So that being said. Uh, that's what that looks like, very simple. A um, couple of different things on the OptiShot 2. Uh, there's two different carpets. This is the original carpet that comes with the OptiShot. Um, a little thin, uh, so I went ahead and when I had my OptiShot, I purchased the upgraded thicker carpet uh, to go with it. That worked out really well. So uh, if you are doing OptiShot 2, you definitely want to go with the thicker carpet, I think. But again, uh, the differences and why I'm going to the ball flight. So some of the technical differences, and I talked to OptiShot and the guys there, and they, they sent me an email. They were kind enough to send me an email with all the data points that uh, ball flight will cover and that OptiShot covers. So I'm just going to go over those right now uh, real quick. So first thing you get with ball flight is an increased accuracy. It's more accurate than the uh, OptiShot 2. And uh, unlike OptiShot 2, uh, the ball flight measures uh, the actual club and the ball. And the OptiShot 2 really only measures the club and then it calculates the ball, what, the, what it thinks the ball is going to do on an algorithm. Uh, ball flight has more data points. It has club speed, ball speed, smash factor, launch direction, launch angle, side spin, back spin, carry. Total distance, OptiShot tracks the club speed, face angle, club path, face contact, tempo, carry, and total distance. So obviously more data points and more accurate data points with the ball flight. And that was important to me in my decision to go with the ball flight. Um, I had a lot of fun, as I said before, with this device. Uh, the grandkids, some people coming over, we enjoyed the OptiShot too, but it was just time to move up. So. One of the things you're also going to get, and the reason I wanted to upgrade, was the, the graphics. The ball flight comes with much better Orion graphics, so, and I can see that already in the short time that I've used it. It uh, has four practice ranges, 20 courses. OptiShot didn't include 20 courses. I, I can't remember how many it was, but it wasn't 20. And remember, this is all for no subscription. And that was one of my biggest factors. I didn't want to pay $7.99, $6.99 a year for the system when I'm using it outdoors most of the time and up here in North Carolina indoors for four months out of the year. So I didn't want to pay that subscription fee. Uh, OptiShot had 15 courses, one driving range, and uh, it had online play subscriptions. Orion Live, uh, Ball Flight includes the Orion Live platform. Uh, now you can create your own online tournament, tournaments. You can have private tournaments, public tournaments. Uh, you can also wager coins. Um, I think you start off, I got 10,000 coins. I don't know, just showed up in my account. And you wager those coins against other golfers. And um, with those coins, you can purchase maybe, you know, different courses that, that uh, OptiShot has to offer. So I haven't really played with that yet, so that's something I'll do in the future. But uh, the other thing... I believe is different is just the, the general quality of the system that I got with the ball flight. It, it matches up with some of the other systems I looked at, the Mevo Plus and the Garmin and all these. I thought it was uh, a much better product for my space constraints and what I want to do with my sim bay and that's the big reason why I went with ball flight and all the other things that I just discussed. So that's the technical differences between the two. I hope that helps you out in making your decision. Uh, I'm be coming right back with another video uh, looking at the short game practice session. So 
join me for that. And once again, it's Ray with Raise Your Game, and thanks for watching.